DJ, cause that's my DJ. Say go DJ, cause that's my DJ. What's good YouTube, your boy DJ here, back again with a new video, man. Today we are doing rappers getting worse versus rappers getting better versus rappers that hit their peak, man. This should be a very, very interesting video. I ain't doing one of these videos in a minute, y'all. So let's dive into it, see what's going on, see what my boy got to say. Y'all already know I'm gonna put my input on it, man. So y'all should too. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, man. Every time they show us, you know, who got worse, who getting better, who hit their peak. Y'all let me know y'all opinions about it, man. And I seen the thumbnail. I seen, seen the baby, the killer, Roy. I forgot who else I seen, but. Yeah, I think in the middle was the killer where it was getting better. And then the baby hit his peak. I forgot who was getting worse. <laughs> I don't know who he put at the thumbnail for getting worse, but let's dive into it. Let me skip this, though. We're not even about to. Shout out to my boy, though. I rock with bro. But <coughs> Smoke Perp getting worse. I feel like he went from blowing up to falling off right away, man. Just like Lil Pump. Lil Pump went from blowing up to just falling off. 2.5, bro. And this is like in the music industry, if you're not consistent, that's how it's gonna be, bro. <laughs> now, I ain't gonna cat famous. Dex definitely got worse. He definitely got worse. But I'm happy that he's actually, you know, in rehab right now, really trying to, you know, get back to his old self, man. Cause, you know, when when your mom died, that's a, that's a different feeling, bro. You know, personally, haven't felt that, but like, I could just tell he went through a lot right there. You know, he went the wrong way. He had nobody to really help him. No friends really, like, try to help him. But shout out to Rich the Kid, though. You feel me? Rich the Kid took that and be like, yo, bro, it's time for you to really get your life together, man. He took him to rehab. So, Rich the Kid, you're a real nigga for that, man. But, you know, people that was around Famous Dex, y'all seen the way he was moving, see the way he was acting. Y'all still just let him be, you know, knowing that his mom died, knowing that was eating him up in the inside. And just like, wow. You feel me? But... Regardless of all that, he did fall off with his music, though. For real. Chance the Rapper is getting worse? I don't know. I just feel like he just don't drop music consistently, but, like, getting worse? That's, that's, that's a stretch, bro. That's beast. I don't know about that one, y'all. What? And then Lee Chopper is getting worse? I feel like he's just elevating and getting his life, you know, together. There's no way, shape, or form that NLE Chopper should be getting worse. Like, what? Preferring his old, he prefers his old music better. Bryson is a hit, in my opinion. Nah, this is off. And Ellie Chopper is, is, is getting better, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Wake up, get my. I'm gonna make a video about Lil Tucker, man, because ever since his album dropped, it's just everything went downhill for him, bro. I don't know why. Everybody keeps saying he can't make a better song or another hit than Ransom, this and that. Like, but Lil Tucker got a lot of potential. You know, to continue that momentum that he had on Ransom or even that first project he dropped, you know, back in like 2018, I believe. You feel me? But yeah, ever since that recent album dropped, man, I feel like he did take a little hee, you know, even though he took a break from music and stuff like that. But I'm not going to say he's getting worse, but he definitely like fell off a little bit, you know? I feel like rappers like French Montana, Gucci Man, Wiz Khalifa is really trying to like put themselves in today's, you know, music. You know, I'm not saying they're getting worse, but they're really trying to like, you know, fit the style of today's music. You feel me? Those are the rappers that reached their peak, in my opinion. You feel me? I don't think they got worse or even getting better. It just reached their peak and they're done. You feel me? But at the same time, they're really trying to, you know, really be in today's music, you know, especially French Montana. Come on now. You not serious. The fact that people is hating on this kid, bro, is absolutely mind blowing. Go watch my video if you haven't watched it, man. I explained um oh is the killer Roy 
a industry plan. Go watch that video to hear my thoughts. But it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. It's something new every single day, man. People will actually wake up, get on their phone, get on their internet to hate. To hate. The song is not even out yet. What the heck? The song is not even out yet, bro. This is wow. Okay. I ain't hear Rod Wave in a minute. It's crazy to see these YouTubers, man, really get recognition as actually being, like, defined as a rapper, you know, especially DDG, though. You know, he's really, like, especially because he's really off YouTube now, you know what I mean, and really pursuing music on a whole nother level. That's, like, straight motivation. That's just straight, like, yo, anything is possible, bro. Feel me? So you could tap into any different things, man, and then really figure out your purpose during that journey, you feel me? Because obviously growing up on YouTube with DDG, he was doing music, but he's also vlogging and doing this. Really took YouTube serious in there. You know, all of a sudden he just took that that faith and like, yo, music is my true purpose. And then now look at him, bro. He in the billboards right now. Like, <laughs> the other last year or two years ago, he was strictly a YouTuber. You know what I mean? And now look at him. Flight the same way, bro. Flight has just grown as a person, bro. Like, hey, you love to see it, man. You love to see it. YouTubers is doing their thing. KSI, for example. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, for example. Man, there's a lot of YouTubers that's really, you know, going crazy and really putting their foot on the gas, you know. Because, of course, people will be like, oh, you're just a YouTuber. You're just this and that. But they going crazy, man. They going crazy. There's more people out there, you know. But those are people I could really, you know, say right now, you know. Damn, little baby hit their peak already. I feel like, damn, I was gonna make a video about this too, man. Do y'all think little baby could get better? You feel me? Or have a another run that he did last year, bro? Cause like 2020, bro. Just keeping your name, you know, in every aspect of hip hop is just crazy, bro. It's not crazy because Drake done it, you feel me? Like, what Lil Baby done is not surprising, but like, where he come from and stuff like that, being labeled as a street rapper and just like being in the billboard, dropping an album early last year and keeping that album still alive from like beginning of the year to the end of the year. Dropping hits after hits, you feel me? Then coming out with the bigger picture that just slam dunk every. It's just like, bro, he had a hell of a run last year. But hitting his peak, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Lil Baby could definitely get better. He could definitely get better, in my opinion. You feel me? Cause like he could definitely switch up his his sound a little bit. You feel me? But hitting his peak, nah, that's a stretch, bro. I feel like he still got. Still got a lot of more years left in the game, bro. That's just me. But that, that is a question that people should ask. Like, can Lil Baby get even better, you know? We gonna see. Now, this is a fact, though. It's crazy I'm about to say this. I don't think he hit his peak yet, y'all. This man, I don't know. We have to see when CLB drop. Feel me? But I don't think Drake hit his peak. He got damn near five to ten years left. And he's still getting better. He still prefer he still perfecting his craft, you know, or his sound. So yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Eminem is same with Drake. I don't think he had his peak just yet. Still probably got like, mm, I don't know. I feel like Eminem and Drake is like in the same status where like they could really 
go crazy for the next five to ten years, you know? Especially because Eminem is old as hell and he came back and started going crazy. Feel me? So I really feel like he ain't reached his peak just yet. He probably did. I don't know. But the way his music is sounding now, it's like he probably got more more years left. We'll take money so fat. Really had hope. Nigga just got in the game. He hit his peak already. The nigga, the baby just started. That's bad. Those last couple ones was very, very questionable. Nag with a cat. Very questionable people that he put on the last one. But I'm going to leave it up to y'all. I'm going to leave that up to y'all, man. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts about it, man, in the comment section down below. Uh, which rappers you think got worse, um, got better, and actually reached their peak? Let me know y'all thoughts, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe to the second channel as well. And I'm out of here.